Hi guys, you're welcome to Afrobeat Global TV and yes, I am the Vibe Queen of Mobile Apparel. And it is no news that somebody is causing trouble all over the world right now and the person is Asha Ke from the stable of YBNL Nation. Asha Ke has just released his debut album on the 8th of September 2022. Guys, you all know that Ashake is actually a dancehall artist, but he has a blend of Fuji vibes and Afrocentric, you know, that kind of vibe. He's a combination of talent, and I mean, this album proves this right. So, guys, I'm going to be taking you through what I think about the album. Stay with me, guys, as we do an album review. So, this album actually features 12 songs, 12 tracks. Well, from the 12, we have three old tracks which he had dropped before. We have Sungba Remix, Terminator, and Peace Be Unto You. But the remaining nine are new and all more. They're a blend of many things. I feel that this album would do well. Like, this album would do amazingly well because people used to say that it's got just one vibe like one kind of beat and style but ashake proves us wrong in this particular album it starts this album with one which he calls doll oh my god list of the tracks on his album well doll is actually a great song to open the album and it talks about the reason for his consistency since his hit song and when he joined ybnl and for terminator we all know terminator Terminator is just about him flaunting his skills in bed and you know it's already a hit song for peace be unto you no organize organize is actually dope like i feel like it's going to be a hit song i feel like ashake does something with his lyrics and it's is dope the beats the lyrics dope i feel like it is a hit song P B U Y. you already know it's a hit song the lyrics and beats Dupe is great but it has similar lyrics with terminator but muse is dope it's the first r&b from mashake and i think you should do more of r&b or more it is beautiful joha is a catchy song it's a call and response thing it's cool <laughs> Then in Zaza, Zaza contains thoughtful lyrics. It narrates a story with a different vibe entirely. Ototo emphasizes how everybody's ozul is different. And I think because of this, people will relate to it. It's Reason is the first track with a feature which features Ross and it discusses growth and how God has blessed him, basically. Sumami is one of my favorites, although people will criticize it because it has no verse but just chorus, but all more the beats, the beats, the redeem, the voice, um, Senreme. I love Sumoni. Sumba, you already know, featuring Bona. It is dope. Guys, if I'm to rate this album, I'll rate it an 8 because for a debut, the lyrics, the beats, dope. 